So far we've studied kinematics, which is a description of um, how things move, but not uh, considering the cause of motion, right? Um, next we turn to um, the why of motion, right? Why do things move? Um, and that leads us to forces, and uh, the description of forces, the properties of forces laid out in Newton's laws of motion. So first we should ask ourselves, what is a force? What do we mean by force? So let's spell out some properties of forces. All right, so a force, simply put, is a quantifiable push or pull. Um, a force acts on an object okay in the absence of an uh, object there can be no force All right force has to act on an object so. Okay, a force has a cause. All right, if something is feeling a force, a force is acting on something, um, something is causing that force. All right, force is also a vector. Right, meaning it has magnitude and direction. And finally, we can break forces into um, two classes. Right? So a force is a contact or long range. Right? And a contact force is um, uh, force due to uh, physical contact, right? A force due to one thing touching another thing. So. Right, and a long range force is a force that acts at a distance. So let's maybe come up with a list of um, common forces. So here's a list of common forces. All right, and one uh, simple force to think about is uh, gravity. Gravity. Sometimes we uh, think of gravity as weight, right? So the symbol we typically use for this is F sub G. Sometimes we use a capital W. All right. Um, gravity is a long range force. In fact, it's the only long range force we're going to talk about in this course. Um, in College Physics 2, you'll get to um, electricity and magnetism, and that's also a long-range um, force. So, um, you may have seen this before, that we can write uh, the gravitational force as mass times the acceleration due to gravity, mg, right? And this always points down, right? Meaning toward the center of the Earth.
Okay, another force that we will see commonly is um, friction. Often I'll use a capital F with a subscript F. Alright, so force due to friction. Friction slows things down typically. Right, another way to say that is it opposes motion. Or really it opposes change in motion. All right, and um, this always it points tangent to a surface. So tangent to or parallel to a surface. Okay, so an example is maybe rubbing your feet on the carpet. Um, you rub your foot uh, maybe forward, the force of friction is pushing backward, right? So it's not up or down, it's horizontal, which is uh, parallel to the surface of the uh, floor. All right, another example of a common force that we'll see is something we call a normal force. So sometimes I use a F sub N. All right, so these variable names are um, are not uh, set in stone. All right, it's a variable. You can choose whatever you want. But I, I like to use something consistent uh, so that I don't, don't confuse myself. All right, a normal force um, prevents objects from passing through each other. Okay, uh, so this is like um, when you stand on the floor, um, the floor pushes back, right? The floor pushing back on you, keeping you from going through the floor, that's the normal force. Okay, so you can tell here that um, this always points uh, perpendicular to a surface. All right, so it's interesting to note here, um, friction is tangent to or parallel to a surface, and the normal force is perpendicular to a surface. So these two forces together describe interactions with surfaces. Okay, and one final force that we can talk about uh, again, this is not a um, complete list, but it's uh, a good introduction, is uh, tension. So sometimes I'll use F sub T or just a T. Right. And tension is the um, force due to a rope or a string. Right, and this is always um, directed parallel to the string. So this points along the rope or string. Right, that kind of makes sense. And tension can only be a pull. Right, because you can't push something with a rope. So now we've got a good idea of um, what forces are um, and some common forces.